Hey all, this video is all about three items that you may want to store in your pantry or with your medical supplies if you are in fact prepping for some type of radiation emergency, whether it be a full-on nuclear war with Russia or possibly a, a power plant in your area melting down. Um, all three items are relatively inexpensive. I think you could purchase each one for under twenty dollars. And um, I'm also going to be sourcing some articles as I discuss the three items. Please note in the description I've got the links to those articles so you can read the whole thing if you like. Okay, so let's begin. Alright, the first item is calcium phosphate. And I actually came across this item on this website REM, which is Radiation Emergency Medical Management. It's a government website for professionals that work with radioactive materials. Phosphate is going to protect your intestines and the calcium is going to protect your bones from radioactive particle absorption. You can buy it either in uh, liquid form, just make sure you read the labels and it has phosphate. Of course there's lots of calcium tablet supplements or if you're trying to save money and or you need a lot of it, you can go onto eBay and get uh, food grade calcium phosphate powder. Um, that's where I purchased mine. It's about 20% of the cost dose wise of the liquid supplements so that's an option just look on eBay. Okay the second item is bentonite clay which has a very long involved history with nuclear disasters. Uh, the Russians actually used bentonite, mixed it with chocolate bars and fed it to the survivors after Chernobyl. Um, in uh, Sweden they did something similar, they were also affected by Chernobyl. They mixed bentonite clay in with the feed for their uh, dairy cows and reindeer that were producing milk and they saw a 50 percent reduction in the amount of radiation that was produced in the milk because of the bentonite clay. It's also used in nuclear power plants. Um, they mix radioactive waste with bentonite to help keep it from leaking. So it's got a long history. There's a lot of sources to buy bentonite clay online. Um, make sure it is food grade. It is sold for the purpose of you know taking some to clean your colon as they say. Um, also make sure it, it does not have a high am an amount of aluminum because some of the clays that are sold have a tremendous amount of aluminum which is not good for you. Another interesting thing of note, if there was a radiation disaster and you did have access to a hospital and you showed up with severe radiation poisoning, there's really not a whole lot that hospitals can do for you. They may be able to give you some antibiotics if you're starting to get infections because your bone marrow is trashed, but one thing they usually do do is give you a drug called Prussian Blue, which is very similar to bentonite clay where Prussian Blue is actually prescription. It's considered a benign drug but it's prescription only. If you look on the REM website, it also lists it and it tells you what base ingredient it is made out of. And the base ingredient is not prescription. Just FYI. And the last item is by far the most well known and that is potassium iodide. While most all preppers have certainly heard of it, I think there is some confusion among some regarding what it actually does. Potassium iodide is strictly to protect your thyroid so you don't develop thyroid cancer a few years or a few decades down the road. It does not prevent any other type of radiation poisoning whatsoever. It's especially important for young children or young animals for that matter. Children, the younger they are, the more at risk they are of developing thyroid cancer. In fact, if you took two individuals, one that was five years old and one that was 50 years old, you exposed them to the same amount of radiation on the same day, if they both had it in the cards to get thyroid cancer, the five-year-old would actually develop it and die of it before the adults likely ever showed symptoms. It hits kids much faster. So um, there's, of course, numerous sources. The main brands that I've seen are Thyrosafe and Iosat. They're both available all over the place. I have also heard people ask about the expiration date and how long is the real shelf life. The expiration dates vary. I think if it's brand new, most of the, both of those brands have like six to seven years expiration. But in reality, it's much longer than that. The government did do studies since they're stockpiling a lot of this for the military. And uh, I've got their studies linked below. Basically, the results they showed was as long as you keep it dry and cool and the package doesn't get opened, it's going to last a really long time, like several decades. Um, really old potassium iodide, they said it does maybe dissolve just a little bit slower than the fresh stuff, but there's not a lot of difference. Alright, so I believe that covers the three items, calcium phosphate, bentonite clay, and potassium iodide. 
if uh, one or two of those items was something you hadn't heard of before and if you like this content please give me a thumbs up as if I think people are interested I will do a couple more videos on nuclear war and share some facts that I think most people aren't aware of uh, one of which is everyone likes to make fun of duck and cover say how silly it is but in fact it does work so give me a thumbs up and I'll do another video telling you why it does work thank you so much and stay safe